Hello there folks, my name is Mega Luke. welcome to another video here on FM Scout and today we are going to take Wonderkid FC and put them in a different country. Yes, you guys all in the comments of the one we did in the English leagues said you'd be interested in seeing different leagues with different players. A lot of you suggested some different players and I've took that on board and I've created a new Wonderkid FC in the German divisions if you couldn't tell by the cool t the cool thumbnail or the cool title. But let's have a look at the team that we have here and who we have put inside this team. So Wonderkid FC, I took an over Waldhof. I'm going to go with that. Um, I've kept their manager who plays a 4-4-2 and I'm not that happy about it. Well, 4-4-1-1 even. I'm not that happy about it, but we'll just have to go with it. The only downside is the rules in Germany uh, set, uh, say that you cannot play players who are 17 or younger or I think they have to be 17 to play so any 16 year olds could not actually play in this team um, and we have a lot of these players here all ready to make their debut for this new side Van den Voort I've gone for as a well let's, let's just go through it this way it'll be easier um, we have Brandon Williams of course from Manchester United interested to see how he gets on Joshua Zerxi from Bayern Munich Yassine Adley from Bordeaux Almada, of course, wanted to see how he gets on in this game. Nicolo Armenian, if anyone is a fan of my live stream right now, we are all interested to see how Nicolo Armini is getting on. And if you're not a fan of my live stream, I really suggest you follow the link in the description to my channel and come over and say hi because we have a live stream for Youth to Gold on Sunday nights where we have purchased Nicolo Armini. We're only allowed to sign teenagers and we're not allowed to play players 30 or above with Racing Club Strasbourg. We're doing really well as well, so you're missing out. Is what I'm trying to say. But we're interested to see how this man performs. Gavin Bazzani, because there's not a lot of keepers on this game, Wonder Kid wise. Um, this is just a regen, 27 years old. We'll ignore that. Brenner, I've put him in as like a backup. I'm not expecting him to be played much. George Cuenca is a Barcelona player um, who I'm quite intrigued with. I've, I haven't heard anyone talk about him yet. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. Serginio Dest, a USA player. Um, from Ajax. Um, I've seen a YouTuber use him the other day. Usman Diakite, Diakite, maybe. Let's go with that. Again, I think he's going to be a backup. Um, Sergio Gomez, of course, playing at Dortmund. Um, and we are going to see how he gets on. He's actually on loan to Huesca in the first uh, season. But uh, we're going to see how he performs for us. I'm, I think he's got the highest potential in this team so far. Jonathan Gonzalez, quite intrigued on this man, uh, Mexican, See, let's see how he performs. Guga is a Brazilian right back and I'm really uh, interested to see how he gets on. Uh, Josco Gavardiel, let's go with that. Seiko Koita, who is uh, Erling Haaland, or Haaland's um, strike partner at Red Bull Salzburg. Uh, a very intriguing man and I've seen perform very well on this game. Palacios, of course, one of my favourite players in the last two games. Uh, and Nguyen Perez as well, a centre-back. Arno Sigurdsson and we have back to Van den Voort. In the, let's, if we go to Wonderkid and we go into their under-19s, we have a lot more players in this area. Uh, Jonathan Pazzo, Becca Oza, um, we have more, I think. We also have Karamoko Dembele. Uh, we have Jude Bellingham, Fabio Silva as well there. A lot of different names that's going to be popping up. Moyano, Unavar, Tony Herrero. Some of these players you might not have ever heard of. Robert, they're all in there um, and we've created a big side now. Um, I've already simulated quite far on. In this episode, we're going to go all the way up until when they retire. And then we're going to actually see how they get on 10 years after how they performed and whether they can stay in the league they are, whether they perform better. Um, rules for this, I've basically given them the best sort of facilities wise. I've also given them a transfer ban and all of these players, uh, if we just click on Palacios here, are going to Kashima Antlers in Japan in 2038. So they've got a long time before they ever leave this Wonder Kid FC. Let's go forward a, a few years, maybe three. Let's, let's just say three and go forward with that. Right, we are three years forward then 
And already we have two promotions. We are in the Bundesliga straight away. Well, fantastic stuff. Um, so I'd imagine where they, yeah, they so they've been, they've just been promoted from the Bundesliga second division. Nice. So if we go across then, Alexander Nori is the new manager playing this 4-2-3-1 uh, four, three formation and some a uh, lot more familiar names now popping up on this side. Fabio Silva, Karamoka Dembele, Jude Bellingham all getting starts here in this new uh, lineup. So if we have a look at the domestic league then, the first season that we had, they finish in the fifth position. Uh, so this team actually that I picked were promoted to the third division last season in real life so this would have been their first year so fifth place in the first season i'm quite shocked with that they were actually predicted to finish first um if we if i went back uh, and showing you at the beginning predicted to finish first 69 points the second season though uh total domination of the league 84 points makes them winners and going up then they went straight up again in the second division play 34 120 drawn 10 70 points great stuff there and i wonder if we can sort of see that maybe so if we go to stages and have a look how they got on went up as champions of course they finished uh 11 points clear of nuremberg taking them into that so that's that's nice that's good stuff so i think if we go forward two more years then before we go sort of more into detail and have a look more at how the players are actually performing individually which we'll go through slightly more quicker than what i usually would um we'll go forward a couple more years and see how they get on in the in the bundesliga so here we are we are back in the bundesliga 2024 um and we have a new manager playing a different role now and as we can see pedri is one of the men who I've been starting. He is also a Barcelona player, and he is very impressive indeed in this cam role. Another man who I haven't really heard much people talk about. I think he's 16 at the start of the game. 21 years of age now, five years later, and he is performing beautifully. I really like the look of that. Uh, some familiar names, as we can see there. We'll go more into that in a sec, but what we want to see is how they've been performing in the Bundesliga the first two years. The first year that they were in the Bundesliga, they finished in 13th place. Not too bad, avoiding relegation by about five points. The second year then, the second season, have they pushed on all the way up into fifth? So that will mean we have some European football. And they were only actually three points away from being in the Champions League football. So that's, that's fantastic stuff. Uh, I always like the Bundesliga. It's one of my favourite leagues to actually manage in myself, of course. People who've watched my stuff for a while. Eintracht Frankfurt is the side I have taken on last year um, and dominated the Bundesliga with. And it's one, honestly, it's such a fun league. So I really do recommend uh, going to the Bundesliga if you haven't done before. If we have a look more then into Wonderkid and more in the competitions, how have they done in the, po the DFB Pokal? So in the last few years then, they lost in the quarterfinal and they actually lost in the first round. Wow. And it doesn't actually say who they lost to. Or is that this season? That's because... Oh, right, I see. It's because like it's sort of like dropped over into July now. Um, so second round, quarterfinal there, another second round, first round on penalties. Not too amazing then. I'll start scrolling through the players though so you can sort of have a look more into into depth and you can have a look down here and it will tell you sort of how many goals and appearances they've gone. Of course there's so many players but you sort of really get the gist of it. You can pause it at any attempt. Rob Air there, very poor from him. Um, as I'm clicking through, Fabio Silva, he was great last year. He's great again this year and he's 21 years of age. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Brandon Williams hasn't really performed. There's Xerxes, Adley. Almeida. We might start seeing. Uh, we might start seeing. Oh, there's there's Armini. So already after five years, he does look quite impressive to me. I quite like that. Um, and I don't think he's been playing too much either. So he's missed a few games there. He never really got picked. So maybe with a lot more game time, he would have been a lot better as well. So um, keep that in mind, Luke. Bazanu though, quite nice stuff from him. Jude Bellingham. Like I said, we might actually start getting some regens, some new gens in the game. Uh, because I've given them really good uh, uh, s facilities and stuff like that for bringing through youth prospects in the side, just because, why not? Uh, Karamoka Dembele with the smallest head in the world uh, as we go through here. The Akaite, Sergio Gomez looking quite nice. Jonathan Gonzalez, I don't think it's changed that much. Guga, you can also see up here as well the uh, player current ability which this skin allows. The skin, by the way, is the OPZ Elite for anyone who's going to write down in the comments. 
uh, who everyone always does and you can find it on the FM Scout website so if you do want to find the skin that's where you can find it back to Palacios though there we go right so that's five years then let's go forward let's go and forward another three years and see how we get on them right back in the Bundesliga still still with the same manager playing a slightly different formation now with the uh, the wingers playing a lot higher supporting Almeida and Fabio Silva by the looks of it finance are looking great because obviously they can't spend any money uh, they are under a transfer ban so anything they get from the Bundesliga just goes straight into wages which they're not actually paying that much wages I, I think you might have seen but we're not interested in all that what we are interested in is how they have been getting on in the Bundesliga how have they been been performing so we left them last in this position fifth place they since then they have finished seventh so they've dropped out of the European places but like I said uh, Bundesliga is very hard league to perform in a few clubs there so with a few of the big ones Schalke down in ninth there uh, and Cologne up there as well with Wolfsburg the next season then back down to ninth again so we're dropping down slightly here and back up into fifth place in the season just gone there so back in with a shout and just one point away from the top four devastating stuff because that Champions League might have been really nice to see how the players performed in the Champions League. But that does mean that they have played in Europe. We'll have a look how they got on in the Cup game first. And then we'll have a look how they got in the Europa League. So here we are then. We have the DFB Pokal. And we have won it. They lifted the trophy after beating Leipzig in the final. So that is great stuff. We have a trophy in how many seasons is that? Seven seasons? Seven, se Six or seven seasons. We have lifted a trophy, beating Leipzig in the final. That's great stuff. Um, they've also won in the quarter quarterfinals everywhere else as well. So good stuff, really. Uh, right, Europe. That's what we want to know, though. How have they got on in the Europa League and the Euro Cup too? They've played in both. So, wow. They actually lost to Bayer Leverkusen, their German counterparts, in the quarterfinal of the Europa League on aggregate. And then Porto on penalties. So devastating stuff in the season just gone. So that's not too bad, really. Unlucky, if you ask me. The Euro Cup 2, they lost to Bordeaux in the final on penalties. That was the season before last. So they have been doing really well. I like this team quite a lot, how they've performed. Um, again, if we have a look more into the players, Palacios now, I think, is going to be an absolutely unbelievable player. So look at that. He's perfectionist. A very good player indeed. World class, I'd say. Uh, we have... This guy now coming through the youth ranks, 19 years old. I don't think he's that good, to be honest, but there we go. Uh, let's go to, because we can't see how many uh, appearances and stuff. We've got a value. We'll see who's really the better players. Sergio Gomez performing outstandingly there. Almeida. Oh, he looks gorgeous, doesn't he? Some of those attributes are amazing. Nguyen Perez, uh, quite a good centre-back there. I don't think the centre-backs performed how I expected. We also have Cuenca. He's quite good, to be fair. Um, Serginio Dest. Not too bad. Nicolo Armini, who seems to be a backup defender there. And considering he is a backup, he's only played 141. Uh, his, his attributes are not too bad. I, I think that's quite well. So I think for youth to gold, I need to give him game time. Remember that. Um, and we go down. Jude Bellingham is someone I'm quite intrigued with how he gets on. And he does look like he's performed very well. 205 games, 52 goals. So I think then Fabio Silva... 133 goals in total. He's had very good seasons here, uh, scoring a lot of goals, around about the 15 mark uh, every sort of season in the Bundesliga. A couple of times there, he's only played 28 games, 27 games, and he's still producing the goods. So not too bad if you ask me. I wonder whether Almada has a lot of assists in the Bundesliga. I mean, yeah, look at that. Some 12s there, 10. Uh, dropped off, dropping off a couple of times. Still, good, good amount. Sergio Gomez, let's see if if he's been banging in some goals and assists. Uh, a season there where he had 13 assists and another season in the Bundesliga 2 where he had 12. So he's slightly dropped off since, but it's not too bad. Um, other strikers, though, I mean, Xerxes, I can't imagine him scoring that many, and he hasn't been. So I wonder whether who they've been playing as well at top. Pedri, though, a phenomenal player who I think if you manage to get your hands on, playing because he does look very good that natural fitness of 20 at the start of the game as well uh, really shines out to me 
I'm quite disappointed with this man though, Seiko Koita, who's only played 24 games and only scored 6 goals. So, But like I said, that is down to the AI, how much they play him. And unfortunately, if he's not getting played and he can't go out on loan because the future transfer, they will just sort of rot. So that's the downside of creating this database. Um, but we can see some good results with the players who are starting. So that's it's better than nothing, I guess. So here we go. We are at 2030 now, a few years on from the last part. Um, and we now have 378 million in the bank. We're still in the Bundesliga. So how have we been getting on competitions wise? Um, we go to the Bundesliga. We finished fourth in the last season. That's fantastic stuff. That means Champions League football awaits us. We left it at fifth place. They dropped down to seventh, dropped down to ninth, back up to fourth. So that's quite interesting how they've managed to do that. If we have a look at the DFB Pokal, uh, have they lifted it again? They haven't. Uh, they've lost in the second round, second round, and lost in well the first round there. So quarter final, second round, second round. Not great performances in the League Cup after winning it, winning it, of course. In this trophy, though, they lifted the Euro Cup 2 after beating Besiktas. So that's good stuff. I mean, I know the Euro Cup 2 is not really an amazing competition. Um, but we still, it's a trophy. It's a European trophy nonetheless. And they won it the season before last. So you can't deny that. That's quite good, to be honest. Uh, in the Europa League, though, uh, they lost... In the quarterfinals, in the second round knockout, and oh, devastating! They are runners up this season in the Europa League final to Valencia. So that is very disappointing stuff. Very unlucky for Wonderkid FC. Key player though is Fabio Silva, and he just keeps plugging in the great attributes. 158 goals in 312 appearances, still being very consistent. Quite low, to be fair if you ask me, but I imagine everyone around him is performing. Uh, Nuen Perez is the captain, El Capitano. Not a bad, uh, not bad attributes at all. Palacios, is he a world-class player? Yeah, he's 31 now. Experienced midfielder. He's one of the older players of this team. Almeida there. Gorgeous stats. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, 10s, 13s, 14s. He's really come on in the last couple of uh, years there. 102 goals as well from that cam position. Even Karamoko Dembele is putting in some decent growth as well, getting up to 145. 155 games he's played, 25 goals. No assists whatsoever for a while, so it's not going to be that good. Um, but still, it's better than nothing, I guess. Right, so one of the one of the last times we're going to skip forward here while all these players are involved. 2033 now, um, and these players are going to be roughly 30 to 33 years of age. So we will see some drop-offs. Um, but it's interesting. We are still in the Bundesliga. How have they been getting on uh, if we go to the Bundesliga? I've seen something there. It's runners up. So 69 points. They've continued to finish in the Champions League places as well after that. So if we go to the Bundesliga, that's, that's great stuff. Finishing runners up uh, to Bayern Munich, of course, who dominated the league, by the way. One loss. Was it to us? No. Eintracht Frankfurt my German side there. Five losses against... They never actually lost to Bayern Munich as well. That's quite intriguing. So they drew to Wonderkid twice did Bayern Munich and we drew nine times uh, winning 20 games in total. So comfortably finishing as well in runners-up, runners, runners up, might I add. Five points clear. So a good season for Wonderkid FC there. Uh, how how else have we been doing in, in competition? So in the League Cup, uh, quarter final, second round loss, and a second round loss again. Not fantastic. Euro Cup two. I don't think we've been in it since lifting it. Uh, Europa League. After losing in this in the final, we haven't played in it since. So it must mean we are only in the Champions League since. How have we been getting on? A quarter final loss on aggregate to Bayern Munich. A first round knockout loss on aggregate to Real Madrid, and another first round loss knockout, uh, first round knockout loss to Juve on aggregate as well. So three big teams knocking out um, Wonderkid FC there. So I'd imagine uh, the one where we played Bayern Munich, maybe they won the group, and that's how they managed to get through and then face a, good, a big side. Uh, but then 
quite unfortunate draws to come up against Real Madrid and Juve in the Champions League. So I think they give it a very good go. I think we won't see them really produce the goods as much as they did in the last few years. But we're going to go forward two more years anyway and see what happens, whether they sort of diminish. Uh, and then we'll skip forward 10 years and see how the club itself got on. Right, here we are, 2035, and Jurgen Klopp is the manager. Who's seen that going? Uh, he's been in charge of Chelsea, Barcelona, Germany, Portugal, and now Wonderkid FC after leaving Liverpool 68 years of age now is Jürgen. He's been around the block a bit. Uh, but we see some new names here. So we've got Huckle, uh, a fairly decent striker, coming through our youth ranks. Brettfield as well. I think that was the guy from earlier. He's produced the goods in the end, to be honest. Quite a nice player uh, we have on our hands there, a Wonderkid. Zydek. Bang average, not very good at all. Uh, but that's all we can see in this page. We'll have a look more for them in a minute. We've got this guy as a hot prospect too. Uh, 20 determination, a 15-year-old. He does look good, to be fair. 102 current ability at 15 is nothing to be snuffed at. How have we been getting on, though? So in the Bundesliga, we left it then in fourth place. So we've had two years since, a sixth-place finish and an eighth-place finish. So we're starting to see the demise now of the side as they're getting into their later years. And in a cup, we lost twice in the quarter-final to Cologne and Stuttgart. Europa League, we played in it one more time and we lost to Tottenham in the second round knockout stage on aggregate, so not too bad there. And we had one more year in the Champions League where we were knocked out in the first round knockout again, unfortunately, by Atletico Madrid. Again, a very tough uh, draw in the first round knockout. So that's basically Wonder Kid FC as a whole. Uh, let's go forward another 10 years and just see how they coped when all the players left. So we are in 2045. Uh, not a lot in the balance, but we are still in the Bundesliga nonetheless. Uh, Domenico Tedesco, a real manager in charge. We have this guy, quite a uh, strange looking fella. 30 years of age, a Frenchman. Has he come through the youth ranks? Of course, now we can sign players. No, they, they have actually signed him. Stockner is the captain. He is not a very good player either, but he has come through the youth ranks, so not too bad, really. And we have a few players there. Uh, Competitions-wise, then, have we have we uh, we done anything else? We haven't won the Bundesliga anyway, but we have dropped out of it once, and that was 2038-39 when all the players were transferred out to uh, the Japanese side. So that's interesting. We dropped down to the Bundesliga two. Uh, and it doesn't actually say how we got on in it. So that's that's bizarre. Oh, of course, we have to go to the Bundesliga 2 to see that. So Bundesliga 2 there. They went straight back up in first place. So that's, that's quite a good performance, really. After being back up, though, a 13th place and a very mid-table sort of um, team now is Wonderkid FC. So they have sort of cemented their role. Have they won any more cups? So they've lost it, lost it. No, they've never they've never lifted the trophy again. Semi-final performance there. Uh, a couple of third rounds, a couple of quarter-finals. Nothing too major. Uh, and we've never really got into the Champions League again. So it does look like they've managed to cement themselves in the Bundesliga after losing all of their players to um, the Japanese side. But they've obviously got the best youth ranks in the league. They are going to bring through some good players. Uh, not like that guy. But anyway, I hope you like this video. Drop a like on it if you can. That would be absolutely fantastic. Let me know down in the comments if you plan or if you plan on using any of the players because of this video, because of how they developed. I know I didn't really go too much into how they developed, but a lot of people in the comments before were sort of saying that we don't really need to see that. We just want to see how they perform and and like how the video is too long and stuff. So that's why I sort of briefly went over it. But if you do want to see more like progression of the players and development itself, let me know. I'll see what I can do and see what I can work around and how we sort of do that. And of course, if you want to see uh, us do another Wonderkid FC, maybe there's a player you are intrigued on how they get on. Let me know that. And maybe there's another league which you want me to try. Uh, let me know all of that down in the comments i do i do read all the comments so i will see your suggestion and if it's been given a thumbs up if you see someone who has the suggestion you want to make give them a thumbs up and the more i see uh, the more likely it will happen but my name is omega loot the link to my channel is down in the description below if you haven't subscribed to the omega loot gaming channel i really suggest you do i really enjoy you coming across of course if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you doing there's plenty more videos coming out soon firing your way for you to enjoy but i'll see you next time on another video bye bye